only one mass well, element well, B is said, combined with the given mass of element A. And that's said, exactly that what Kim's saying. You always, you can only have one amount of gas. So you can only have one gram of mm -hmm. oxygen right. and two grams of hydrogen. So explain time. what's wrong and what's right. That's also wrong. Mm -hmm. so, then, mm -hmm. so then Kim is saying, mm -hmm. um, if you have one gram of hydrogen, then you would have six grams of oxygen. You can only get one amount of oxygen given an amount of hydrogen. Look at Mark. So Marty's saying it's the same amount every time. Kim is saying there are different amounts. This is Marty's saying the same amount. Kim is getting closer to talking about ratios. Ooh, we got some disagreement. I see some ones. 
see some fours, I see some twos. Interesting. All right. Let's try to restate these in formulas. The law of local proportion says that whenever two elements react, the mass of one element that will react with the mass of the second will create a small whole number ratio. So that means that if, say, two grams of this reacts, some of the things that can react with this would be six grams, four grams, eight grams. But you never have, say, I don't know, 13 grams and 7 grams of two things reacting. Could you ever have 13 grams and 7 grams of something reacting? Think so, Arya? I think so too. So here's the key for me with the misstatement of this one, which is it's not the ratios themselves that are whole number ratios. It's sort of the, it's the relationships between the ratios. Let's see which one actually states that best. So this one says when two elements react, if more than one mass can react, the masses will be small whole number ratios of each other, or whole number multiples of each other. Who's, does anyone see a problem with this one? For people who did not choose this one, can you tell me why you crossed it off? Be honest, because that helps. Uh, I will say right now, B is correct, or what I was looking for. So if you did not choose B, can someone please tell me? Can someone tell me why you didn't choose B so I can understand where there's some confusion? Go ahead. Well, uh, where for that one, they said these masses will be small, but they can be larger. They can be larger multiples. Okay. So the, so the word small was something you were focused on. Did someone else who chose, did not choose B, want to say why they crossed off B? Please tell me, because this, this will be helpful to figure out what we can come back to tomorrow. Leo? I see the word multiples. You missed the word multiples. Okay, so you were just seeing small yeah, multiples. Fair enough. So, here's the last thing I want to do with this, and we're not going to do it until tomorrow. But uh, it was B. So that's, that's why I was asking why people were thrown off by B. So that, yeah, Marty got her. Marty, of course, was right. Um, so tomorrow, you're going to become Dalton even more. And you're going to become Dalton even more because not only was he able to explain his data to say that matter, uh, all matters made of atoms, but he was actually able to estimate atom weights from his data. So for example, if you get these mass ratios, Dalton said from that, it must be that atom A is 4 times, 4.29 times heavier than atom B. And here's, here's how I can prove it, and here's how I can sort of draw these molecules to do it. So we're going to come back to this tomorrow. But I'm also going to give you your homework. It's not until Tuesday, so you don't need to start tonight. But it is an interview or a dialogue with John Dalton. So pretend that he's sitting down at, um, inside the, studio, the scientist's studio or at his interview spot. And you're going to tell him, ask him questions about what he did. Ask him questions about how he figured it out. Challenge him. Ask him whether he's sure. See, see what he thought about the weather. So, so you're using the last three days of work. Of work. Plus today, remember you walked around and saw fog and, and water and stuff. So you're using the last three days worth of stuff to figure it out. Um, and I will check this on Tuesday, and tomorrow we will come back and finish this packet to come away with a better sense than even we have now how it works. All right, thanks guys.